So I've gotten a couple of people ask me, Renata, how do you keep track of everything that you have going on? Like what kind of productivity tools do you use? What kind of things do you use for organization? And one of the things that has been a lifesaver for me is Microsoft To Do. And today I'm gonna show you what that means. So real briefly, this is just on my phone. So what you do is you find the app and it's called To Do. And then once you get there, the home screen has different things and so this is my work account and it has my um, r jones at pharmacysend.com and then it'll have my day so under my day what you're going to be able to do is everything that you want to get accomplished that particular day and then anything that's important what do you have planned assigned to me flagged email task um, and then you can create your own list so what i use here is the task function so i'll go into task all the time and i'll just put stuff in here so i've got to get some ready to sell for my Medicare agent business. So those are the companies I need to do that for. I need to claim some CE credit. And so like this white coat speech type and sent, I've done that already. So I can click the little button and it goes away. Why I like the task function is because you can take everything in your head and just dump it in here. So you know how you're walking around or you're doing something and you say, oh, I forgot I need to do that. And then you start to worry about it. And like, where should I jot it down? If you just pick up your phone, you can plop it into Microsoft To Do. The other thing I like is flagged email. So any email that I actually put in and flag on the email that's attached to this, it'll flag it here. And then I can go in and follow up and so, I can, if this one's done, I can go in and click it. If it's not, I'll just unselect it. The other piece I like is the new list. So you can go down here and click new list and you can um, enter a title, give it a color and it'll create a new list for you. I've got one for my content. So anything, anytime I have a content idea, I just go right into my phone and I just add it into this Microsoft to do. And then when I create the content, I can just check the box and it goes away. Um, and that, this just gives me ability to take everything in my head and just put it into something that I can utilize for later. Microsoft To Do also has a desktop version, which I use all the time. It's sitting in my toolbar uh, so that I can go in, select Microsoft To Do and do the same thing that I'm doing here on my phone. So it is super, super helpful if you have Microsoft To Do um, and you can just be able to go in and literally just put everything that you need on a list. You see, I even got a grocery list. So if this was a grocery list that I needed. If you want to, you can go back in here and you can just do plus and you can add if I can spell cheese. And then you do that and it just adds it on. And now you see you've got cheese up here that you need. So super helpful. If you can get Microsoft to do and you can download it and you can put it on your phone, it will certainly save you a lot of time and help with your productivity. Okay, so what I want to talk about right now is the desktop version of Microsoft to do you probably just saw the phone version. And so here's what it looks like on your desktop. As you can see down here, it's just this blue check mark you hover over it, it says Microsoft to do. So when you pull it up, Here's what you see. And so this one right here is on grocery. So this is the last one that I had pulled up. But you can see over here on the left, these are all your list. And so we talked about these earlier, the flagged email, the task. So you can go in here and as you're working on something, he's like, oh, shoot, I need to do X, Y and Z. So you can put in here, uh, go back and email Sarah about project. OK, so that just gets that out of your head. You don't have to worry about it. It's not something that needs to be done now. And then once you actually complete the task, you just go in here the same way you did on your phone. And it gives you that nice little ding that I love. OK, uh, the flagged email is the same. What I did want to show you is the content ideas. Again, all you got to do is you're creating a YouTube video, you're creating something and you actually have an idea about some kind of content that you actually want to do. Then you can just go right in here and you can put it right here in the um, Microsoft to do grocery list. If you're working and you say, shoot, I know I need to pick up some milk from the grocery store. You see the cheese we added earlier. All you have to do is go in and type in milk. Now, what you can do um, is just 
close this up so you don't have to see the old grocery list and then therefore now you just have the new list that you have up here there is an option to delete the list which you can or delete it permanently though um, and so i'll just do that because i don't care about this grocery list and you delete and now you see that it's gone altogether so just know that once you do that it will get rid of it altogether um, and then these are just some functions which i don't use like assigned to me if somebody wanted to share something and send it over to you um, and there's like a share button so like under my task you can go over here and there is a well, I saw it earlier here it is so under the generated list here you can go here and you can actually do share list and you can share it with somebody but I don't have any right now so that is just the desktop version of Microsoft to do. Again, it's just something to help make you more productive. And so if you're not using it, I encourage you to head over to Microsoft and download the Microsoft to do app, both to your phone and to your desktop.